Hey friends, Casey Ashmore coming to you from the studio again, and we're doing a a little bit of a deep dive refresher on Texas probates and estate law and why you need to get powers of attorney, wills, and at least some advanced directives in place and get some directives in place for your adult children who may be traveling across country going to college. Power of attorney, medical power of attorney, simple things need those for those kids in case they are hurt and then they become temporarily or even worse you know maybe permanently incapacitated they're far away from home oklahoma arkansas virginia utah what have you driving a car could hit that you know they're, they're out of the picture you're just the next of kin the doctor doesn't actually have to talk to you except to give you vitals like yes they're alive no they're not alive scary things for mom and dad when mom and dad have the powers of attorney the doctors have to talk to them. The bank has to talk to mom and dad. These are things that are simple. Get them in place. Now, before I continue, you know, we've been talking a lot about what's been going on in America. Political discourse at fever pitch. Tension over the death of Mr. Floyd at a high. And the unending economic damage of the coronavirus pandemic at an all-time high, and we are praying for our country, for healing, solidarity, love, and we're sending out prayers to lift all of our friends, neighbors, countrymen, and friends around the world who are suffering right now because of these things. So it reminds me of the motto of our great nation, out of many, we are one. Anyway, the last video series, I was talking about how in a probate situation where mom and dad didn't leave a will. What do we do? Well, we don't have a roadmap. When there's no will, it's called intestate secession, which means you go to the law, you pull out the law book, flip it open, and there's something Will Rogers said 78 or so years ago that's still true to this day. Two things you don't want to see being made, law and sausage. You got to go out to that law book, you got to pull out the rules for intestate secession, which means died without a will. And then you got to follow all these rules. You got to have a dependent administration. So you got to present all the known heirs to the judge. You got to say, judge, this is the best of us. Maybe there's a disagreement about that. And then whoever the best of the heirs is may be picked to be the administrator, or the judge may appoint a stranger to the family, another attorney or some other, you know, somebody who's very experienced in. Texas estate and probate law to be the administrator to get a picture to the judge, an inventory of all the assets in the state, report to the court what the assets are, and then ask the court for authority to start distri distributing those assets. But it won't be in the way that mom and dad wished. It'll be in the way that state law requires. Because what you don't have when you don't have your own advanced directives is you have state law. And it's more time consuming, it's more costly, it can lead to bigger fights, and ultimately diminishing those little pieces of the pie that mom and dad intended to give to you. Mom and dad wanted me to have that family Bible that came down from Missouri. But if it's not in a will, there's no way to prove that. So get these things in place. It, it, old saying, founding father, stitch in time saves nine. There's nothing truer than in a probate situation when you don't have a will. Get a will, get advanced directives. They don't cost a lot. They don't take a lot of time. Nobody likes to think about their ultimate end. These are simple things that literally, in a snap of a second, you could get corona. You could, real, real talk, you could be on a motorcycle trip going around the world and have a crash in a foreign country. If you don't have these advanced directives, your family is left without a roadmap to help you or to provide for your family in the event that the coronavirus or the motorcycle wreck or the plane crash or the 18 wheeler wreck takes your life. How are they provided for? Do you have life insurance policies in place? Do they know where the life insurance policies are? I'll get into more of that in the next series. Anyway, please like, subscribe, and share. More importantly, get these documents in place for yourselves and your loved ones. Thanks very much for watching. God bless America.